Today we're talking about the naked picture scam. This scam is hitting a lot of kids in my local area, but I know it's hitting a lot of kids nationwide too because I get contacted by other schools, by other SROs who are dealing with it. So what is the naked picture scam? This is hitting boys, you know, between the ages of 12 and 20 mostly, but it does go on up from there because pretty much any boys, men, males are susceptible to this. Well, anyways, they get contacted by 15 year old hottie girl. Now in reality, who this 15 year old hottie girl is, it's a 30, 40, 50, 60 year old male who's gone onto any pornography site and downloaded a series of pictures of an 18 year old pornography model who looks like she's 15. And by downloading a series of pictures, here she is fully clothed at the mall, fully clothed at Thanksgiving dinner, and then various stages of undress. Now, when she contacts your sons, now let's not kid ourselves. I know most of you think, well, my kid's not gonna talk to a stranger. Yes, they're gonna talk to Hottie Girl. So Hottie Girl contacts them on Discord, on Snapchat, on TikTok, on Instagram, on whatever they contact them. Kids don't just say, hey, stranger danger, I'm not talking to you. No, they're gonna say, how are you doing? Right, because here's a cute girl talking to them personally. It is really hard for kids not to talk to them. So they're gonna start talking to this girl. This girl's gonna ask them questions about themselves. She's gonna throw a couple compliments out. And then she's gonna send a fully clothed picture of herself. Then she's gonna ask your son to send one back, which he's gonna send back. There's no danger in sending a fully clothed picture. Then she's gonna send one with a little more skin showing. Then pretty soon she'll send a full topless picture to your son and ask for a topless picture back. And again, your son doesn't have anything to lose topless. Hey, that's no big deal. We play basketball at school topless. Well, after they've developed a relationship, you know, and it's gone on for at least 15 minutes, Hottie Girl will now send a full nude picture of herself and ask your son to send one back. Now, not all kids will send this back, but a good majority of them will. Biology, folks, it's hard to overcome biology of getting excited about seeing a naked girl in front of you that you're speaking with. Now, I can't tell you how bad this is on kids, but I know kids that have fallen for this scam before and almost fall for it a second time, if not fall for it a second time, just because I thought it was a real person. It's not a real person. It's a 40, 50, 60, 70 year old dude behind this 15 year old hottie girl picture. Well, anyways, once your son sends a naked picture to this girl, what's gonna happen is the next day, your son's gonna be contacted almost on the same account and somebody's gonna claim to either be a fake police agency or they're gonna claim to be the girl's father. And they're going to say, hey, look, I'm gonna contact the police unless you send me $500 in iTunes cards. Or what they'll do is they'll send a small video clip of your kid's either Snapchat friends or Instagram friends and say, hey, if you don't send us $500 in two hours, we are going to send this picture to all your friends list. So now this boy's in a panic. And while they're in a panic, this suspect on the other end of the line, who was pretending to be a girl all along, is going to rush your son. Hey, you have two hours and you have one hour and 50 minutes. You have one hour and 30 minutes. You have one hour, you have 50 minutes. I'm getting this package ready to send to all your friends. They're gonna like to see you naked, right? So it's gonna be not giving your kids time to think about things or think things through. It's gonna be rushing them. So they're either going to steal a parent's credit card or use their own credit card if they have credit card to buy $500 in iTunes. Now this is horrible because if they do this and send it, there's no way to track that. Secondly, if they they send it. Next week, they're gonna be contacted again by the same person and ask for another $500 and another $500. So we need to stop this. The way we stop it is we contact police. Police are gonna to come to your house. They're gonna take a report. They're gonna contact Snapchat, TikTok, Discord, Instagram, whoever it is, they'll contact them and say, hey, freeze this account. And depending on the officer's skill level, and a lot of officers are very behind in social media investigations, they might or might not be able to find out who this is. Now, I track these guys every time and I usually have good luck in finding them. The problem is that when I find them, they're out of the country or out of the state. And in either case, my small county with a small budget is not going to spend the money to go and grab somebody and bring them back for prosecution. Now. The other thing is that this happens hundreds and thousands of times in each county. There's no way we would be doing this full time if that's all we were doing. So what I usually do is I'll find out where these people are by getting search warrants for Snapchat and getting the IP address. Then I get a search warrant for the IP address holder. Then I find out where they're at. Um, I'll do a little bit of homework and I'll usually send the local police over to give them a nice scare. That usually puts an end to everything. But we start to start holding these people accountable and at least trying to make the effort to find them. Okay, so here's a worse scenario. Your kid gets contacted and somebody says they're gonna share their naked photo to their church, their parents, their classmates. And now some kids are so embarrassed that they would rather die than have this happen. So we have suicides. It's happening all over the country where, you know, 15, 16, 17 year old boys, now somebody says they're gonna share their picture everywhere and now the kid goes and kills themselves because they're so embarrassed about them. This is crazy. Now parents, the way for you to stop this is to talk to your kids about it. Talk to everybody else's kids about it. Talk to your schools about it. Have your schools talk to your kids about it. 
We have to get the information out that this is a scam. These people are not really after the sex part of it. They're not, you know, there might be some that are creepy people, but they're after the money. And I know when this happens to a kid, it feels very personal. It feels like somebody's, you know, in your bedroom stalking you. And, you know, we should have stopped this a long time before it started. But now that it's happened, let's stop it from here on out. Talk to your kid. These are scammers. They're professionals. They're going to do what they can and they're going to move on. And if they see that the police are involved, they're going to move on very quickly. But every time the police get involved, there's another chance of them making a mistake and getting caught and getting prosecuted for it. So keep these things in mind. Have chats with your kids often, right? This has to be a chat, you know, every other couple of weeks. Hey, look, what's going on online? Who are you talking to? What kind of girls interests do you have? How are we doing that? What are we going to say if some haunted girl contacts you online, right? What's the possibilities? How can you tell if somebody's fake online? You cannot tell if somebody's fake online, right? It can be a guy who's using a filter to be a girl. It can be an old person who's using a filter to be a young person. But understand how these things work. Discuss them, discuss them with your neighbors, discuss them with your friends, so that everybody as a community can watch out for this and make it stop because it is happening far too often. In my just little bitty community, I've had so many of these things happen. Now this does happen to girls as well. I'll do a different video on how it works with girls, but talk with your girls as well. Hey, when you're talking to people you don't know, especially, don't send naked pictures. This is what can happen. And it not only can happen the next day, it can happen the next year, the next 10 years, the next 20 years. When you send out a naked photo, you can be dealing with it for the rest of your life. All right, Officer Gomez, out.